Hey, hello everyone, Freedom here. I'm going out on a, on an afternoon night ride. It's been raining all day this Saturday. And this is my first ride after I redid the bottom bracket. I defaulted back to settings the uh, derailleur, aligned it, and uh, tweaked pretty much everything else. The chain is new, took it apart, put it back together. Uh, you guys all saw that in my last video. For those of you who are asking about my light, my front light, it's always going to show 99%. I don't think the digits will go three. It only goes two digits. And I have it in the, I have it in the uh, first setting, which is 800 looms. I think 1200 is after this one, and A2, and A3. I think it's 1600 looms. And then you have your strobe. And then you have your SOS. Or the strobe is first and the SOS. I'm not sure, but that's the sequence. And then that's off. And then one hit again brings it back on A1, and it's still showing 99%. I run it usually down to 57, 54. That's about three or four days riding, average of two and a half, three to four hours riding. And it takes me no more than an hour and 10 minutes to get it back to 99%. And I'm using a cell phone charger, a Note 9 cell phone charger that's got a fast charge on one side. So anyway, going for an afternoon night ride. Make sure everything's good. And I'll catch you later. Well, here I am catching my breath. I'm up on the uh, port of Miami crossover. And um, I don't think I've ever showed you girls and guys uh, this view, but this is the uh, this is the crossover leading into the port of Miami. Oh, here's something cool. I'm on the blind side. Um, just so you guys know where I am, and girls, that crossover over there. I'm gonna try and focus into it with my Note Nine. All right, there it is. That crossover there is the Rick and Backer, my favorite crossover. That's what takes me to the lighthouse to give you an idea of where I am. And that's where I film or record and I show everybody the Port of Miami from over there, which is now over here. And there's a, there's a couple cruise liners out here docked or is it parked? I'm not sure. But they're here. And there's a view of part of the port, the cranes. And uh, I'll pan around a bit so everybody can see this hazy, hazy afternoon. There's a law right there. And they're doing some kind of work obviously around here. And that's the Venetian Causeway, the small causeway, the little bitty one. That's the Venetian Causeway. And the larger one closest to us, that's the Watson Island crossover. Which Watson Island crosses over and takes the causeway all the way straight to South Beach if anybody's been here before. Or you can Google all this. Google Earth has got it. So here's the, um, here's the Ferris wheel. I've showed that before. This is from a different view. And um, let me get up on this. Let me get up on this divider here. Make sure the old guy doesn't fall. All right. Now that's the mall down there, and that's Bayfront Park right over there. And that's the wheel. And that's the mall that the wheel is attached to. So, pretty much I'm up at the port right now. I'm not going to go in there. I'll probably go down this uh, crossover and then come back up and figure out where I'm going to go next. Basically, I'm running with my lights on 
testing my gears, bottom bracket, crank, everything feels good so far. And let me see, that's the uh, AAA arena right there in front of us, where Miami Heat play. You can Google all this. All this is on Google Earth. But Freedom is giving you a first-hand tour. And that's basically it. I'm going to... I'm going to jump off this highway divider, whatever this is, hope I won't uh, break something. And, uh, oh look at that, one of the, uh, one of the local tour boats, is that it, yeah, one of the local party boats, it's more like a party boat, yeah, I can tell, yeah, it's a party boat, uh, people get together and they, they pay and they go out on parties half the night or all night and my sun is setting over there clouds can't see it but that's a nice sunset always that way about this time of year and one more shot at the ferris wheel and i'm out of here headed back to my mule a horse she doesn't like it when i call her a mule so i call her a horse That's it. Everything's running good so far. I'll catch you later. I'll be out of here and then I'm going to be headed that way for an afternoon tonight ride. All right. So here's the Ferris wheel I showed you guys from crossover over there, Port of Miami. There's the, uh, there's the Port of Miami over there. I showed you guys this before. Just give you an idea of how I get around and where I'm at. So I went over and uh, came back up, crossed over, got back out on the boulevard, came over here to this, uh, this uh, Bayside Mall where the wheel is, and I'm back at Bayfront Park where I'm going to take off from here and decide where I'm going to go give you guys an idea of how I travel right around I'm recording on my Acaso not that much I think uh, this is a better view and I can speak give you guys an idea of where I am so I was up there basically on that wall divider up on that crossover to the port there's one of the uh, there's one of the ships maybe two of them, that you can see from here over there so anyway Back at Bayfront Park, headed back into the Brickell area, probably uh, get up into Key Biscayne, hit the Rickenbacker, and I'll catch you in a few. I'm on the uh, Rickenbacker Causeway. I switched over my front light to my non-crank side. That's where my traffic's going to be on my left. As you can see, the, uh, the afternoon and tonight coming in pretty nice I'm gonna start uh, I'm gonna start recording with my Acaso once I get over the crossover Rickenbacker my favorite crossover and get into the straights headed back there to the uh, lighthouse point of course the lighthouse point is closed I won't be able to go in because it's a state park but I'll get to the main gates and I'll flip it back around I'm trying to get 25 maybe 30 miles this afternoon I have a ride tomorrow morning Sunday morning I just want to make sure my bike is all good. Everything's working fine. And for those of you who are interested, I've had my light on since uh, since I took off. And it's at 90. Yeah, I think it's at 90 right now. It was at 99, it's at 90. I've been riding for maybe an hour and a few minutes. So get an idea of how much light. And I have it on two now, I have it on A2 which is the 1600 looms. Anyway, I'm headed that way over the crossover. I'm not gonna record it. I'm just gonna cruise, take it easy. And on the way back, I'll probably record the exit. I will record uh, once I get into the straights back there so everybody can see my lights working in the, uh, in the total darkness. All right, I'll catch you guys and girls later.
Hey, Freedom here. I went on an afternoon tonight ride, and um, I'm, you know, I am really disappointed on the Acaso. The Acaso camera is not a nighttime camera, so I had to. I edited the video so much, but let's take a look at what I did for this afternoon. I started late because of raining all day long from morning into afternoon. Let me go to my satellite here, map. Yeah. I didn't do much. I mostly wanted to check the bike for everything that I did the other day with the bottom bracket, the crank. I um, I reset the derailleur, removed the wire. I backed up all the set screws. I reset them. I aligned the derailleur. And I reattached the, uh, the cable. That's what I call the wire, the cable, the shifting cable. And the thing is sweet, very sweet, very nice. So I, I did that, I did that, and I wanted to test the bike, so I went out for um, my start, finish point there, as always. I I went out to, I went out to one of my daughter's house, lives in the area, and then from there I went to the, to the Port of Miami area, where I did a short video from the port, from the Port of Miami Bridge. I went in, went right back out. It's a lot of security, a lot of police in there, but you're allowed to go in there. But it's just you know too much, too much law enforcement around. So um, I went back through this mall here, and I showed everybody the Ferris wheel. I did a loop around this large fountain there. And then I went back through, and I went back to my old, you know, my old route, uh, which took me took me over the crossover and I was surprised that uh, after dark Build Back State Park was open because it usually it's not so I'm not sure if that's something new or not so I went ahead and went in and rode around this dark trail there's no lighting there at all so I used my light at all times so everyone can see how really my light shines out in the dark and um, the beacon, I saw the beacon for the lighthouse. It's on. It's not, a, it's not a light. It's a beacon. It's not like a fully functional lighthouse. But the lighthouse is there, and it, and it, it used to function as a lighthouse. I went into the uh, marina. I went into the old marina parking lot that also was open. Where is that at? There it is right here. It was also open, to my surprise, so I went in there and I rode around the whole lot. This right here is a historical marina stadium where uh, back in the days, in the 50s and the 60s, there used to be a, a racetrack, an oval for speedboats in this, in this area of water here. So that used to be the thing back then. And they've, they've kept the... Uh, the stadium as a uh, historical point and it's all the, it's all graffitied up really nice graffitied up and they've allowed it because it's some real good painting there and it's like a tourist point so i rode around that area back out and then oh but this right there i did pee i peed in those bushes right there then i went back out took a break right there at the corner of the uh, rusty pelican entrance exit Went back over the bridge, and um, I did a few laps here in this historical, this stretch here is called Historical Miami Avenue. I was looking for one of my kids that was driving around looking for me, and I was looking for her. So I finally found her, and I had to go back and forth until I found her. And um, then we got together, and we came home together. So cut my ride short. So that's what I did. Bike's working good. Everything that I did to the bike on my previous video is excellent. I must say, the I'm more I'm I'm, I'm more impressed with the settings on the derailleur. The uh, it is very smooth, very smooth right now, and I like that. So anyway, uh, that's what I did for today, Saturday afternoon. I enjoyed it, like always. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thirty six. 36 maximum that's going down the uh, 
the the overpass and the um, the decline of the overpass going down. That's what that was. What's that? And um, two and twenty hours, two twenty minutes, twenty nine seventy seven. I wanted to do thirty or forty miles, but it worked out the way it did. So anyway, thank you for watching. Like always, everything worked out on the bike. The adjustments, everything is nice. Um, I like it. Everything's working good, especially my light. Somebody wrote me about it. I hope you got good info on this. And, um, yep, until the next ride, everybody have a wonderful weekend. Thank you always for watching. Until later.